hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. You gotta get some positive yards here just so you can punt the ball from a normal distance. Manning on third and ten. He fires, and the catch is made by Cruz, who breaks free. One man to beat. Victor Cruz down the sideline. Cruz is going to take it. All the way, tying an NFL record, 99 yards from Manning to Cruz. We gonna need you. We are going to need you. Well, well, well. Let me go ahead and place that L. Um, I got a couple of subjects to talk about today. And I know y'all hate the bloggers, y'all hate the media, but y'all be watching because we bring you the content that keeps you conscious of thinking. You know what I'm saying? I, can, I got a couple subjects. Uh, I'm gonna talk about Norb's case for a little bit. I'm going to talk about Swamp, um, and I'm going to talk about Ace Amin versus Rum Nitty, the promo. First of all, salute to all y'all out there. Salute to my brother Showtime SP. He was in the building last night. Make sure y'all go check out our uh, This Week in Battle Rap episode where we talked about a lot of stuff. But the news, <laughs> it just keeps rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. Uh, let's start with Swamp. So, if you haven't heard, Swamp is, you know, he's, he, he feel away. He definitely feels a way right now because he backed off of Easy's Trenches card with the anticipation of getting the Aver battle. Aver battle is no longer happening. Aver marched across the street. He's battling on Rare Breed Entertainment versus A Ward. He sees all of the promo. He sees the hype. He sees the fans going crazy. Swamp don't got no battle, right? I've been hearing. <clears throat> I heard. I heard. I heard. Don't matter who I heard it from. But it is what it is. I heard he was trying to pitch a hustle battle. I'm glad. I mean, they said you all wasn't feeling that battle. I heard the battle was not happening. I'm glad. Trust me. Scale of one to ten, I probably feel that about a two. I'm not lying. I, I fuck with Swamp. Yeah, I like what Hustle does. But them two battling together, some man is absolutely not. I wouldn't. Have, they would not have liked that. To go from Verb to a battle as a female on Summer Madness, bro, that would not have went well. That 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 wouldn't have been. So I'm glad that that's not happening. But I heard y'all at a crossroads where you really ain't got no opponent, you know what I'm saying? They really ain't got nothing for you, which is crazy because you backed down in Battle versus Rosenberg. So, um, I was watching the clip of Three Letterman's interview with Swamp earlier today. Put this this PSA out there. All right. What league it is. Like, tell Rosenberg Raw I, I want smoke, bro. Like, I'm sick of him, to be honest, bro. I'm sick of it. To be honest, bro. I see the little shots and shit, and like you know the little, you know you you backed out of the trenches card because you're supposed to get verb. The lie to take the test. That's a lie. Like, I see all the little bullshit. Right. Uh -huh. bro, just hold on the easy fucking damn belt loop and ride his wave and and do the podcast and shit like that because it's not the battles, my boy. Like, but I will clip you. I don't care what league. It's <laughs> I, Rosenberg, right? I like your you were froze though. I like the battle, my nigga. I'm not gonna hold you. You yeah. were froze. He kind of done got up under my skin a little bit. I think that was his tactic. So like, job well done. It worked. It worked. Yeah. So like, I'm I'm serious, bro. I don't give a fuck what lead. And he was going in on Rosenberg Raw, and he was saying, yo, I really want to battle him. I really want to get him out the way. It don't matter what league it's on. He was saying that, you know, it could be in the Blue Room Swamp. Swamp! Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! No bullshit! You gotta understand. That's where we had the trip. We had to stop the tape. You was just in a situation where you could have already battled Rosenberg Raw. You could have battled this nigga. Yo, he could have battled this nigga already and didn't do it. And now a month later, he's talking about doing it in the blue. Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> he got away with it. But he didn't get away with a swamp. And you my man, too. I played your music on my shit the other day. But I got to call it down the middle. You know damn well. <laughs> 
And I heard there's been calls made. Trust me, I heard, I, I know I, I spoke to some very, very, very reputable sources. It's like his calls being made behind the scenes. Like I battle him on Max Out. We could even do a one rounder. Trust me, Vodafly is not making this shit up. Like, I, these are the calls that I'm getting. They're like, yo, you was willing to do a one rounder. You just want the look. That ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna work. Cause for one, ARP is not gonna book that. Why is he gonna book a dis ARP is not booking no disgruntled URL workers. He's not, I promise you, it won't happen. Because these two are in a lawsuit right now. So if one is involved in a lawsuit with another, anything that someone feels they could use as a play to make their case stronger, they're gonna do. Even if y'all ain't seeing eye to eye, he books you, guess what URL does? They put that on their lawsuit, it makes their case stronger. So he ain't booking you, I'll be honest. He's not gonna do it. And plus the card is already like, I still got the card right, right here. The card is pretty stacked. And Rosenberg has plans for that day. Might not be a battle, might not be whatever. But he does, he's on the, he got some shit going on. I don't know, I'm get into it right now. But, um, he, that's not gonna happen. But th this is the crazy thing. URL, they should have took care of their artists. They should have took care. He shouldn't even be out here even saying, I'm willing to do, I'll battle you in the blue room and I just wanna battle. Why, what, why is he not being taken care of? He already backed off the card versus uh, Swamp and then uh, Swamp versus Raw and with intentions of getting verb. He already did the trenches dirty. You did them dirty. All of y'all did them dirty. You just didn't speak much about it, which is fine, you know what I'm saying? The other niggas who spoke more, they got smoked more. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. It. But you kept it well, you know what I'm saying? You kept it low and niggas ain't really go crazy on you. And we understood that you was like a top tier name. You're getting almost a top, you're, you're up there. So to not get a battle on Summer Man, and then if you do, it's Swamp. If you do get booked for Summer Madness, I can send you my cash out because you know they be watching these type of blogs and shit. So me saying this may get the wheels churning that you was actually looking to do a battle on Max out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I know the nigga who he was trying to battle because I spoke to him earlier and he basically let me know that he was, and the reason why Raw or anybody else over there on the other side don't care because they're like, y'all not friends. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they don't mind. There's other bloggers who know about this shit. When they hear these type of bombshell, they put them out to other bloggers. Trust me, other bloggers, other artists, I'm sure Verb, I'm sure a lot of people that y'all don't, that, that that's not in the same predicament, know about this shit. But I'm just speaking from a perspective of, they are not gonna book you. I'm just sorry, I'm sorry, Swamp, they not. I, I, I spoke to them, they said no. Why would they book you with everything that you got going on with them right now, or only to get a call with, somebody crazy and $50,000 the day before to back out. They literally, ARP is literally watching the game tapes. He sees what's happening. Everybody that does shit like back out on the league or get told they can't be on the card or get pulled by their collar back inside the house, he's not booking them niggas. I'm telling you right now. So let's get to some of the tweets, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, ain't no proof like the truth. So, uh, Swamp had the interview with Three Letterman, salute to Three Letterman and all that he does, and I heard Three Letterman was the one that facilitated the call, you know what I'm saying? And this is all, it's gonna be all public knowledge, everybody fucking knows. So, Swamp won the Battle Rosenberg Raw, he calls over there, Raw's like, what? Nah, uh-uh, what? Let me pitch it. They pitched it, they said, fuck no, it's not happening. So, uh, Three Letterman comes out and says, Swamp says he wants smoke with Rosenberg Raw. I thought it was a crazy video, because I'm like, nigga, he was just booked against him like last week. What happened with that? So then, uh, Froze, Rosenberg Raw replies and says, didn't your daddy already tell you no? Fever, please, get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in Ibu, see what happened? Get out of here, for real. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. See what happened? No, shit, both of you, step back. Wait, think of Jesus, send the flood! Jesus, send it today. Send the flood, send the flood. I'm over my door, just send the flood today. He said, your daddy told you no. He said, didn't he tell you no already? But now, those are the type of shots that you're susceptible to when you back off of a card. So, he says, didn't your daddy tell you no? Then Frozenberg Raw goes as far as tweeting, Swamp says he wants to battle me. That's not the funny part. He said with a straight face, it don't matter what league it's on. Niggas is laughing at you. Now you become the subject of laughs because we know that them niggas on URL can't go nowhere. I wouldn't do that just yet. Cause your ass is mine. I don't care if you're in a contract or not. You say you in a contract, you ain't in no contract, that's cool, but you affiliated with them niggas. You seen what they did with affiliation. Ask Danny, ask some of the other niggas who ain't on contract what affiliation does. So uh Swamp replies, I meant that too, mother effer. Blue room included, you gotta die. 
and basically uh that's just where it is you know what i'm saying like uh does disgruntledness lead to an artist saying they want to battle somewhere else but the thing is a lot of these leagues are hip to it now they're like nah we see this shit the writing on the wall we see it from a mile away and we staying away from niggas who's uh booked on another league or booked on url and, and want to leave because of whatever the situation is but let's think of it man disgruntled employees Mike P was disgruntled, none of them was disgruntled, K Sean is damn near back. He's put posting shit, the big comeback and the biggest battle of the year has been announced and all that biggest battle of the year and all this shit is coming up. K Sean is disgruntled. Now you got Swamp who's disgruntled. You got like four or five people that's oh what is going on? I keep saying this. What the hell is going on over there? We just want summer madness announcements. That's what we want. I don't care. I don't got no issue or no beef with them niggas over there. I don't. I just want to report on battle rap. And Cover some battles. If URL drops a summer madness announcement, we'll cover it. We hope it does well and we hope the artists do good. Like, the better the battles, the more the money. We get paid. Like, why wouldn't I want to get paid? Uh, so, that's the wild shit. It is what it is. I'm gonna move on. Ace Amin, salute to Ace Amin and all that he's got going on. Him and Romney is going on a dope promo campaign. I actually think they should book it because it's a wild card. Yes, Ace Amin does have. His, his his flow, he has the, the, the limitations that people may feel like he has at times with the stumbling and the choking, but I say like he don't really choke like to like forget his rounds. He stumbles over the material because he puts so much material, word connect, word connect, disconnect, disconnect, intellect, intellect, intellect. I feel like he has a very tough style, but his promotion game is on 10 uh, and he should get rewarded. Ace I mean should get rewarded because he's been loyal to URL. He's been down with them for a while. Uh, he's been battling. He's won some battles. He's, he's, he beat Trufo when Trufo took the lucrative offer to come back over there and back off a card. And I think that Ace I means loyalty, if nothing else, because this is the thing that we be celebrate. We be celebrate loyalty, right? Like, yo, they loyal to the league. They won't battle nowhere else. Woo, 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 woo. Ace I mean, I think he should get that look. Now, whether he'll beat a rum nitty, that's another story. Even going into it, I would pick rum nitty. But I definitely think he deserves. Uh, he deserves a look, you know what I'm saying, and, and and that wouldn't be too bad because I know that he's gonna prepare, you know what I'm saying. Like, I, what happens on that big stage, I don't know, but you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a keep this L, you know, I'm a pre I'm a preheat this joint. I don't know what's gonna happen as of yet, but uh, last but not least, Norbs, 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 Norbs makes it back into the news again. Shout out to Norbs and everything that he's got going on, you know what I'm saying. Uh. There was a very, very interesting uh, YouTube joint on last night, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure that I uh, link you to it or, or give you the person's name. Her name is Dr. Roselle White. Salute to Dr. Roselle White. She definitely uh, was speaking on a lot of the court files and she broke down the case and she was talking about what was happening. But from what I heard, the paperwork and everything that she was reading was from the first time around. I heard it went further. So uh, the partnership claim that originally happened uh, like last year, this case has been going on for damn near three years now. The partnership claim did get dismissed, it did. But they packaged it up and went back on an appeal with a no partnership claim because they feel like the original video didn't tell the whole story. Let's go even further. Uh, they said that the judge and everybody agreed, Norbs didn't do all the work that he did for free. You know what I'm saying? He said that uh, he was never offered anything. He tried multiple times to get his cut. Norbs needs his cut. And uh, what I've been told, especially from you know some legal counsel, is that this case has five claims left and they were not dismissed and they all would not make it through trial. So basically they feel like at this point that Norbs should be offered something, they should settle, they should come up with some type of resolution or this shit is going to trial. Ain't no way around it. Uh, Norbs should have been given something. Oh, he was given something. Hold on, my bad. He was given something. He was given a free app subscription, which they canceled. <laughs> they gave this nigga, after 10 years of service, gave him an app subscription, which they canceled. This shit is out of control. You know what I'm saying? And Norbs' case is built upon a lot of this. And the funny thing is, right, when I sit back and I look at uh, things from like all things considered and even when I used to work with Norbs and P and all these guys and this is not like a blog or anything to tear anyone down today it's really not um, now when I think back they found most of the talent like Norbs found a lot of talent I don't care what nobody says now I know this whole new DMV movement and all of that shit yeah that's P's work and he's got some other work that he's done salute to him but 
the bulk of the talent that I was around when I came around from the chesses, the brizzes, the teat tops, the twerks, the uh, abs, the Mike P's, the Jerry West's, the John John the Dinner and Nons, the all of these niggas, the Geechee Gotties, all of them, that was Norm's work. Listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. Don't listen to this nigga. This nigga ain't got no sense. Oh yeah, Norbs does have a YouTube channel, Norbs at all. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. I'm not gonna not support him no more and not subscribe to him. I just subscribed to his joint. You should too. We supporting him. I'm not gonna not support him because some other niggas told us not to. I'm not. I remember when I first heard Gishi Gotti was over a speakerphone. He was battling somebody in LA and Norbs was there playing this shit on the speaker and I heard the nigga. So all he's all right. Then he got him a proven round. Now, I'm not gonna say Norbs is without no guilt or he didn't do anything. Of course he did. I mean, like, you know, this is uh, nobody leaves with clean hands in these situations. Norbs had his share, you know, and you, he was in the car with him. And where I'm from, you fuck with him, you duck with him. So he definitely was in the whip with him, period. But I think, like, after all of these years, you know, you put in 10 years of work with somebody and you help build a platform, you can't be just let off with like an in independent contractor. Like he was just an independent, no, you know what an independent contractor is? Somebody I pay to come give me a new roof. I pay you 10,000, you come fix my roof, you go on the fuck about your business. Now, if you fixing my roof and we in, <laughs> y'all call it, if the guy that comes to fix my roof, I said, man, you did such a great job fixing my roof. Man, we should see if we can fix some other people's roofs. And we go 10 years and all he's doing is fixing the roof and we supposed to be in, business together, then all of a sudden, man, I don't want you to fix roofs for me, man. I'm gonna get somebody else to do it. But he's helped me establish this business. He's helped me get it off the ground. He's helped me take it to the next level. He should have been paid something. He should have. And then last thing I got is that Norbs is not settling at this point. He don't want to settle. He's not settling. He don't want to, no, no, no. He wants his bread. He wants his bag. And rightfully so. I'm not working for nobody for 10 years. I ain't even worked for niggas for one year. I worked like a little less than a year. I found out I wasn't getting paid. I was out of there. Y'all got it. I'm good. Fuck this. Yeah, I'm out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to. And that's where a lot of people's issues stem from. A lot of my issues stem from that. I asked to be paid. And I was told no. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to just do shit on my own channel. No, you can't do shit on your own channel. No, you can't do this. No, you can't. All right, well, cool. This is what we're going to do. I'm out. Fuck this. You know what I mean? And people will try to spin it and flip it their own ways. But at the end of the day, I asked to be paid. And they was like, oh, we don't, we don't pay people, right? Oh, you don't pay people around here? Well, I know where they do pay people. Gone. But uh, salute to Norbs, man. Uh, and I will say this. This is the this is the biggest point that you should. And I'm going to play some of her video towards the end. But you can go to her channel. You can watch it. It's almost like a couple hours long. But I just grabbed a couple parts from it. And I'm going to say this. I know these lawyers, this, this case is affecting them. I know it is. URL, nigga, this case is almost three years long and they got to pay retainers, pay lawyer fees, pay, 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 pay. Norris Lawyers is working on pro bono. They basically like, yo, if you win, we won. So we'll ride it out. They'll ride this shit out to 2028. You think they won't? Because guess what? You make your career off of cases like this. I was the lawyer that took down this person. I was the one that got a judgment in the amount of this. I was the one. They want that. They want that more than they want just a quick little settlement. They want his bread. They feel like he was involved for over a decade. And I, when I came, when I was found, it was by norms. I keep telling, I tell people this all the time. I was not a blogger. I never wanted to be a blogger. I didn't give a fuck about being no blogger. I didn't. I was just, I made a video one day. I was talking shit. Yo, why Charlie Clips ruining battle rap? Blah, 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 blah. He contacted me. Yo, I see some talent in you. Maybe you should be a blogger. I don't even know what that is. He sent me a link of, you know what I'm saying? A blog or two and showed me how it works and yada, yada, yada. And here I am, five, six years later, up, down, left, right, doing good, doing bad, whatever I'm doing, whenever I'm doing is because he was the first person to ever reach out to me about blogging. So he has an eye for talent that's that good, that can find battle rappers, that can find media, that can find whatever. And I know they try to put all type of accusations on him, you know, saying, oh, he tried sexually this and yada, yada, yada. I don't know it all and I really don't care because I'm not really like digging that deep into it. But I just wanted to say, that yeah, you could watch some of this. Uh, she she definitely has the paperwork, and I heard that there's some more documentation coming out, and I heard that we're gonna find out about some more shit. But URL, yeah, you're gonna have to. Uh, no, it was, it, it, and 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 the lawyers is like huh, one of these five. Like I said, there's still five claims left that could go up from the appellate court, and like I said, I made I done spoke to who I need to speak to, and I know what I know. Who would I not be to say what I see? 
Uh, salute to every single one of y'all out there, man. This has been this is a crazy day in battle rap, but I'm gonna go ahead and get on. Well, 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 y'all can split this L with whoever needs it. I'm going, gang, gang. All right, plaintiff Norbs is a significant contributor to the Ultimate Rap League, reaching over 1 million subscribers on YouTube, getting exposure on national television, and landing its deal with Caffeine Incorporated. Plaintiff Norbs never received a contract in writing for the plethora of services that he was provided, providing to the URL or a written employment agreement from the Ultimate Rap League. Norbs often appeared on camera to represent the Ultimate Rap League on various media platforms. Norbs' image and likeness often appeared on advertisement and videos for the Ultimate Rap League. Norbs never received notice that the Ultimate Rap League was changing its entity structure from a general partnership to a limited liability and vice versa. Norbs had the actual authority to bind the, ulti the Ultimate Rap League to contracts and to engage in negotiations for various business opportunities. Norbs, with the knowledge and consent of the Ultimate Rap League, used his bank accounts to pay for expenses of the Ultimate Rap League. Norbs and Smack Beasley and Chico verbally agreed to be partners of the Ultimate Rap League. Norbs was not the custodial of the financial records of the Ultimate Rap League. Norbs' name and likeness continue to appear in many videos currently on YouTube, on the official Ultimate Rap League channel and other digital media platforms. Norbs, Norbs is an integral part of developing the ultimate rap league into becoming the world's most respected battle arena. And from what we read, he did a hell of a job. Count one, wrongful dissolution. This is against Smack Beasley and Chico. Norris adopts by reference the allegation contained in paragraphs one through 269 that I read of this complaint with the same effect as in here fully set forth between approximately October 26th, Chico and financially and emotionally damaged because of their statements. Wherefore, Norbs demands judgment against Smack Beasley and Chico and the amount to exceed a half a million with interest and cost as well as any recovery this honorable court sees fit at several different events during this time. Before 2009, pay attention, y'all. Smack, Beasley, Chico were not putting on rap battles in a versus competitive format as an organization. That's a fact. Okay? That's a fact. All right, let's go. Around 2003, Troy Mitchell's Smack recorded content and released the recorded footage on DVD known within the hip-hop industry as Smack DVDs. Some of the DVDs had rap battles, although this was not the primary focus of the DVD series. The first battle appeared on Smack DVD Volume 3, a battle between Jarvis Mills, a.k.a. J. Mills, and Sherrod Sims, a.k.a. Sire Castro, hosted by Sean P. Diddy Combs. The battles in the series would become famous but the series was stopped around 2008. Troy Mitchell Smack wanted to produce Smack Tube with the help of Norbs, but due to the to, to Smack's lack of resources in the battle rap community and the lack of funding, Smack Tube was an epic failure. Around 2009, Beasley worked on as an artist and repertoire a &R for Asylum Records in New York City. Around 2009, upon information and belief, Jean French known as Chico, was a music producer and computer technician. While Beasley was employed by Asylum Records, you got Norbs, Defendant Beasley, and the Defendant Mitchell Smack would have regular meetings at Atlanta Records in New York to conduct the business of the Ultimate Rap League. Uh, Chico would be present for specific meetings because schedule conflicts. Okay. Now, Norbs was the manager of Math Hoffa, who was considered one of the best battle rappers at the time and some regarded today as a legend. Before 2009, there was no Ultimate Rap League. 
The first event produced by the parties of this lawsuit was headlined by Matt Hoffa. That's who Norbs had, he was the manager of. The agreement was that the four parties, Smack Beasley, Norbs, and Chico, would be equal partners that would not only help with the production, but split all profits equally. As of April 2020, Smack Beasley and Chico claim that more than 10 years of promoting Norbs as a partner, that Norbs is simply an independent contractor. Defendants have not adequately split profits with Norbs and have not informed Norbs of material decisions affecting the company. Therefore, Smack Beasley and Chico have breached the oral contract with Norbs, wherein for Norbs demands judgment against defendants in the amount to to exceed a half a million with interest costs and any other relief to which the court finds him entitled. Well, has not received any monetary value based on his interest in the partnership. Norbs has not received any monetary value for his 10 years of service. The only tangible benefit received by Norbs was a free subscription to the URL TV app. The present value of the subscription is $7.99 a month. fuck out of here they gave you a free subscription after they didn't got millions from caffeine boy after ain't no fucking way boy. Damn place together. boy ain't no way boy and y'all still support boy ain't no way boy you know and I got a couple more pages to go and we're finished you know maybe you guys will look at Norbs a little bit different after this I damn sure do of the foregoing Norbs hereby respectful, respectfully requests the following relief. Hold on to your seats. A. Compensort, compensatory, compensatory damages for $30 million and a 10% royalty in perpetuity of all the quarterly revenue of the Ultimate Rap League LLC, its subsidiaries, and any successors and interests. 